Thank you so much, David. Well, summer camp, first love, self-discovery, those are just some of the hoops. Andy, a character in Andy and the Extroverts, has to experience at the age, the young age, of 17. And here to dive into the pages, who wrote the character of Andy is, of course, Jessica Foster. Welcome to Studio 10. Thank you so much for having me today. I appreciate it. Yes, we're so excited. We kind of made Studio 10 into a little bit of a library for you. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> well, your books have reached so many young adults and teens with the character of Andy, who, uh, of course, is in the... Uh, Andy and the Extroverts and then now Andy in the summer of something. Talk a little bit about what inspired this series. Um, honestly, um, my love of writing really started when I was very young and I'm actually from this area. Um, I graduated from Portland High School in 2005, mm -hmm. um, but prior to that I had an amazing teacher, so talk about teacher appreciation. Mm -hmm. I had an amazing teacher in fourth grade, her name was Mrs. Marlette, and she really just um, went along beside me in my journey as a writer and as a student, and I actually dedicated my first book to her. Oh my gosh. Um, and then also I went to MSU for my my master's so I guess I'm pretty rooted um, right. around here as well yeah. Um, but yes writing for teens writing for young adults um, I always write the book that I wish I had and I think there are so many great books that are out there now mm -hmm. um, and I just really wanted something that was comedic and um, you know romantic yeah. and just like a fun time right so what do you hope when readers especially the teens the young adults you know, learn when they read this book? What do you hope that they feel? A little bit of love? A little bit of like pitter-patter when you talk about your first love? Yes, a little bit. Um, well, I don't, I don't need to talk about my first love. <laughs> oh, I won't do that today. <laughs> we won't do, that's another story. Right. Um, but I do hope that, you know, they have those, you know, gut-wrenching moments that we all have with our first love and of, you know, becoming who we're meant to be. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's a lot of mental health representation in this book, but mm -hmm. it is not the focus of it mm -hmm. so much as just it exists. Yeah. Um, um, just like real life, it just exists, mm -hmm. it's just there. Um, and you know, I hope that people come away from reading this novel with you know the idea that you know you are enough. Yeah. Um, you don't have to become an extrovert, and Andy and the extroverts. Mm -hmm. um, you can have whatever power that you have just yourself. Yes. And you know, you started with the extroverts, and then now you've recently uh, uh, came out with Andy in the summer of something, which we just saw on the screen as well. Was it fun to kind of continue Andy's story? Because I'm seeing we got two boys on <laughs> the cover. We do, we What's do. What's going on in this little triangle? Um, yeah, so uh, Andy returns to camp. Um, she's a camper in the first novel, and mm -hmm. then she returns to camp as like a junior counselor um, in the second novel. And uh, she brings along with her her boyfriend, not thinking that the guy that she had a very brief romance with um, is going to be there. And then she has to decide oh. between the two guys, but it's really her embracing who she actually is. Yes. Oh, I love so. that. And I can definitely see how that is something that you know a lot of teens can relate to when you know you make a little you make a decision and it can impact in the choices and living in that but also yes yeah, self-discovery seeing who they are and being confident and I love I know we just entered into fall but I love a good summer book oh yeah and you can you can sell on those cold days of <laughs> and remember how It'll great our Michigan up. summers are yes and teen books aren't just for teens um it, it has all the nostalgia and you know oh, the yeah. number of people who've come up to me who've read this in their 30s and 40s and they're like oh that was summer camp that right. is summer camp yes so. to have them bring yeah. back those memories well you know you mentioned a little bit about the inspiration who inspired you uh, to write this book so we thought um, since you are here um, we would like to have you stick around and kind of talk us through you know some advice that you have for inspiring writers or authors to kind of how they get their foot in because I know it's a it's a lot <laughs> It's a lot <laughs> to, to write a book, uh, but so if you don't mind kind of walking us through advice, so definitely stick around for that as well as we continue to ask our author so many fabulous questions that can inspire any writer. Stay with us.